Did you know that out of thousands of fiat currencies over the last few thousand years, there's a 0% success rate? No fiat currency has ever worked. And it really blows my mind that people think that we're any different today, you know, especially since we are in an even worse situation than many of those failed currencies were at the time of failing. We just keep kicking the can further down the road. So make sure you educate yourself on the history of money and precious metals, and you'll see how much history backs precious metals, hence, why we like the gold IRA so much. First, let's talk about what a gold IRA is. It's a retirement account that allows you to invest in physical gold and other precious metals. Now, these include silver, platinum, and palladium, and of course, gold. This all became possible after the Taxpayer Relief Act of 1997. It's also a type of self-directed IRA, so it allows you to include other assets besides stocks and bonds in your accounts, and this is where the power is. This includes real estate, intellectual properties, crypto, and of course, precious metals. And it really gives you a lot more power and control over your retirement account. I think sometimes the term self-directed scares people, you know, especially beginners. I know when I first started it did, but don't let that discourage you from making a more powerful investment as it's all very simple especially if you go with our recommendations understand that there are government laws that outline the type of gold you can hold in your account and where to store it as well the right gold IRA company though can make it very easy to meet those specifications and incorporate precious metals into your retirement savings now there are three different types of gold IRA accounts the first type is the traditional gold IRA this is a tax deferred retirement savings account that has functions just like traditional pre-tax IRAs contributions and gains are not taxed and all Often the contributions are also tax deductible. The IRS determines yearly contribution caps for certain ages, currently $5,500 below 50, 6,500 above 50, but these can change over time. You'll also settle on your distributions upon retirement with a traditional IRA. The second type is the Roth Gold IRA. Now, this is an after-tax retirement savings account that pretty much works like a Roth IRA. There are no beforehand tax deductions, but the big one here is you do not have to pay taxes in the future when you start to take distributions during retirement. Now, the third type is the SEP Gold IRA, and SEP is short for Simplified Employee Pension. This is for the self-employed or those people that own a business, and it functions like a pre-tax traditional IRA since you don't pay taxes on your contributions. It comes with a steeper contribution threshold as well. You can contribute up to 25% of your income or $53,000, whichever is less. Now that you know the three types of gold IRAs, let's talk about the best way to get started with a gold IRA. Now, some some people may recommend that you open a self-directed IRA with a custodian first, then find a precious metals dealer. I actually recommend the opposite. I know the market extremely well in terms of which companies are trustworthy, and I recommend getting your precious metals company first. That way, they can hand walk you through the whole process and hand walk you, you know, with opening a self-directed IRA with a custodian. If you don't know what a custodian is, that's basically an IRS approved financial institution, like a bank, a trust company, or a brokerage. Also, not every self self-directed IRA custodian provides the same investment choices. So to ensure that physical gold is one of the offerings, it just makes sense to connect with the precious metals company first. I've been in this space for almost 15 years now, and I've researched and talked to all the major companies. You know, I even know many of the CEOs and owners and have personally made investments with multiple companies in this space. If you go to investingingold.com slash quiz, we have a five question quiz that takes about 30 seconds or so to complete, and this will help connect you with a highly respected and trusted company that meets your specific needs, likely a company I already invest with. There's one company we recommend to most people, but there's a few different companies we recommend based off your current investments and exactly what you are looking to invest in. Anyways, once you have one of our highly trusted precious metals dealers, they will then connect you with the right custodian for your needs and you will fund the account from that point. The first way to fund the account is through cash contributions and this is probably the most simplest form. The second way is an IRA transfer. If you have an IRA, you can complete the necessary documents to move your assets to your gold IRA. You can then convert them to cash so you can make precious metals purchases. The third way is a rollover. If you have a 401k or other retirement plan, you can roll over the money into your gold IRA to buy gold and other precious metals. Be aware the IRS has specifications on the coins and bullion that you can include in your gold IRA. This ensures you only purchase high quality metals with long-term value. 
The gold coins and bullion must contain a 99.5 plus percent fineness or purity. Of course, if you go with one of our highly trusted companies that we recommend after taking the quiz at investinggold.com slash quiz, all of our recommended companies hold your hand with this process. Now, there are two primary types of storage available when you make your investment. The first is segregated storage. And in this type of storage, your precious metals are held in a separate storage area and they'll be separated from other customers' coins and bars. Your metals are marked and stored with your name and IRA account number. The second is commingled storage, and this is where the depository stores your metals alongside other customers rather than separately. Now, when you take your metals out, you won't necessarily receive the exact coins or bars, but equivalent metals. You can talk to your dealer more about the benefits of each storage option and decide what is right for you. Obviously, we are a big proponent of the Gold IRA as it can offer some great tax benefits. And because it's self-directed, the Gold IRA gives you greater control over your investment. Negatives of Gold IRAs that some people complain about are that you know the fees you pay to custodians for storing, insurance, and transportation, and they also complain about no tax advantage income since gold doesn't offer any interest or dividends. For me, the complaint about custodian fees is ridiculous <laughs> because if you consider the big picture, especially if you go with one of our trusted companies at our quiz page, because the fees can be extremely low. There may be no tax advantage income, but you do get other tax benefits along with an investment that has been winning for thousands of years. If you don't believe me, start studying the history of money and precious metals, and I think you'll see that precious metals have been kicking fiat currency butt for thousands of years now. Hopefully this was helpful. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and keep educating yourself.